Thank you so much, Honorable Minister. It's been three long days. The retreat has finally come to an end. What would you say is the biggest takeaway for this administration from this retreat? What the biggest takeaway is that, uh, number one, we have come together uh, to look at uh, the, all the issues all together, to now see the direction that we will take in line with the promises made by Mr. President according to the eight priority areas that he has set aside. So, you know, so the, the, the main theme is the Renewed Hope Agenda and the way that the Renewed Hope Agenda can be delivered to Nigerians. And I think that we have now gotten a cue. Everybody is now gingered and we're going to deliver this uh, promise to Nigerians. For Nigerians that are skeptical, Honorable Minister, there have been several retreats in past administrations and they have not really met up with the expectations of Nigerians with those promises made. What will make this retreat different for this administration? I think this is a different retreat. Uh, you can see that uh, all ministers went through very painstaking sessions. Questions were being asked uh, you know, amongst ministers themselves and amongst uh, other top uh, government functionaries. We have looked at every sector and uh, deliberated and debated all the issues and uh, people have uh, internalized uh, what they should do and uh, I will tell you that this is a different one. Uh, government will, will, will be more efficient, uh, government will be more calibrated so to say for the benefit of all Nigerians. The president has also harped a lot on looking inwards for the solutions to this myriad of challenges. How exactly is this going to happen? Well, he said, so you are right, Mr. President, you will see that all the resource persons are, are homegrown because we want homegrown solutions. Um, I think that uh, it's time for Nigerians to begin to look inward, to look at solutions to their problem. And that's the message that uh, the president has been, uh, been given out. It is important that uh, uh, every solution is being seen from our own context. Uh, local solution to local, local solution to local problems. That's what Mr. President is saying. That's what the cabinet ministers are trying to do. And I think that uh, with this retreat that has come to an end, uh, almost everyone now has been gingered. Uh, you know, you've seen grey areas. We are tackling them uh, for the benefit of uh, of our country. And finally, Honourable Minister, the President has also said, if you do not meet up to the responsibilities leave us, in other words, resign, or as some will put it, be sacked. Does that put any additional pressure on the cabinet members? Well, I think it's not so much of pressure because uh, even the time that the president appointed us, uh, he was uh, pretty optimistic that uh, uh, all the cabinet members will live up to their billing. Uh, so it's not so much of a pressure. I think he's just underscoring uh, the fact that Nigerians are waiting uh, for deliverables. Nigerians are waiting for results. Uh, it's not a talk show. Nigerians want concrete action, and that is what he means by that. And we're going to give that to Nigerians.